we're off. We're off to Cape Palliser. First stop, Cape Palliser. Big, big giants. Look at my gosh. it to a place called Ngawi in Cape Palliser and we've just made it now we're just gonna find a good place to turn around and here's our view nice night last night it was um, kind of cold but beautiful brisk and fresh the stars were out it was a clear night so it was really beautiful so we're just contemplating what we're going to do today and I think we're going to go and have a look at the seal colony um, today Apparently it's the largest in Aotearoa, so we're going to have a look at that. Here we have it, Cape Palliser Lighthouse, southern tip of the North Island. It was first lit in uh, 27th October 1897. So what's that, 125 years ago? And um, 
it run on oil to 1956. Be that whale oil in the beginning, I suppose, and then they switched, I suppose, and it come fully automated 1986. It, um, it shines um, 20 seconds. Every 20 seconds, she lights up, and you can see it from 48 k's away. Wow! So it was um, maritime safety protection mechanism and saved many lives. I imagine it would be pretty treacherous as um, we've been told. So there you have it. And um, it didn't take long to get up there. Of course, there's only a, um, a slippery track right up to 1910, I think. Then they then they put the um, then they put the steps in. And so yeah, quite easy to get up to. Yeah, worth a look. Come on down to the southern tip of the North Island. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the seal colony now. Let's go see some seals. Yeah. This is truly magical being here. So, yeah, it's breeding season for these fur seals. These seals have got a double layer of fur on them and they come here to breed. And right now, breeding season is between November and January. So there's lots of little seal pups out there. It's really gorgeous. And so the mothers are really overprotective. So kind of keeping back and just watching from a distance. <laughs> but truly magical place to visit. Cape Palliser. It's so rugged and windy and today is a beautiful day. We've really, we've really liked it. But just watching and learning about these seals. Who knows? But what I have noticed is that they come up here and I think some of them also give birth up here. So there's a, um, a seal over there with her babies and um, under a topata, under a topata tree. So I find that really interesting. So around here, a lot of the flora is um, topata because it's a coastal darko, it's a coastal uh, plant and so it grows really prolific here but also it acts as their um, shelter for giving birth their shade and yeah it's pretty incredible and if you look behind me if you look um, At that crop up there that that is what um, is known as the pinnacle and we're going to be doing the pinnacle walk tomorrow I'm thinking and um, the Aorangi ranges were once an island and these pinnacles were formed by lots of flood and rain and you can see how they form they're sort of running down and they're creating their own um, whenua creating its own whenua. So yeah, pretty stunning, stunning, stunning place. So if you ever get down this way, I really highly recommend coming here. I do, I do. I do.